Infinite does not equal anything happen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I had a big argument with a friend once um, about about that. And I still don't know if I'm wrong or not. But his argument was that if you had if you had like uh, a coin flipping machine that could flip a coin for infinity, um, eventually it would, it would land heads up like a million times in a row. And I said no. And he and he said, well, you just don't understand the infinity then because it's infinite time. So eventually it's going to happen. And I'm like, no, be, just because it's infinite and something is like like possible doesn't mean it ever would happen. It would just never happen forever. It would? No, it wouldn't. No. It would just never happen forever. Underestimating Finney so much hate. So is that chatter then about about multiverses? The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked. If you understood Infinity, you'd like it. <laughs> not only will it happen, it will happen infinite times. No, it'll just not happen forever. The Taken are filled with darkness. I remember we spoke about it a little bit longer, and I, and I looked into it a little bit more. Um, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but I think the flaw in the logic when it comes to looking at prob probability that way is that thinking that because it can happen, it's infinite time that it is going to happen. But then you start asking questions like, okay, but according to your, your argument, um, this I'm going to butcher this now, I'm sorry. According to your argument, if if you're saying that because it's statistically like it's possible, it's not impossible, then it's going to happen. Well, then you should accept that when one probability occurs, it's going to remove the chance for any other probability to happen. Like, for example... You have to um, say that it's fine that there's a, a reality where it's going to land up heads forever. It will never, ever, ever, ever land on tails. It will just be heads for infinity all the time. Because that's possible. No stats degree. That's true. I don't have a stats degree. Sorry, I, I prefaced this by saying I was going to butcher it. Sorry, I can't, I'm, I'm half remembering an argument from fucking like 10 years ago. But yeah. If if you like had a coin flip machine infinite amount of time, it, it will it will never land. Like how how high does it have to go before you're like yeah whatever? It's gonna land at heads fucking like twenty five billion times in a row. It'll never happen. It'll just never happen forever. It's the monkeys with uh, typing Shakespeare bit with all the typewriters. It'll it'll just never happen forever. It would eventually. It would not. It would just never happen forever. Just like Witcher 3 video. It would just never happen forever. Damn, I should put all those monkeys back then. <laughs> I could see the car. Chatter, please read the pin. Chatter, I'm here to inform you that you've been owned and you're not seeing it because you're not reading the pin because you're paying attention to the game. Chatter, it's a sh streamer. You have to you have to stop paying attention to the game and look at chat. There's a pin that requires your attention. Please look, look, look. I now understand why Joe thinks The Expanse is a smartly written show. I think I'm right about this. I think I'm right about this. I think people are misunderstanding probability when it comes to infinity. I think I'm right. Someone in Jad's heard your stats take and wants to know if you're a creationist. I'm not a creationist, no. I know why they're asking that, though. When you read the Library of Babel, did you assume there was no book filled with only one type of letters all the way? Or is that more acceptable to you than the coin flip thing? I don't know about the Library of Babel. What's the Library of Babel? You should definitely read li Library of Babel. It's like eight pages. Right now? Should I do it right now? <laughs> so, Joe, do you think there would be an instance where the flipping streak will be impossible? I don't know if I want to continue talking about this. <laughs> I wonder why. Because I don't like arguing with chat when there's no like answer that we can verify that's going to satisfy either of us. Chat's just gonna say no, you're wrong, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, I don't think so, and then that's just gonna be the end forever because there is no real objectable verified answer here. And chat will say yes, there is. You're just fucking wrong. And I'll be like, okay, whatever. I, it's not really that important. I just thought it would be fun to have a fight, and now it's gotten a little awkward. Isn't there a whole bit about math that zero point one nine 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 is it equals one? Like when you keep going long enough, it equals one. It's like that. 
at a certain point the probability of it happening is so low that it would just not happen forever even though in terms of reality there's nothing that's physically going to stop the coin from continuing to be heads there's nothing that's going to stop it but at a certain point it's just you just it's just won't happen it'll just not happen forever Joe, I'm literally crying. Okay. If you average how many coin flips you you, you can you can do it in a second, you can literally calculate the amount of time for, for instance, 50% chance that 250,000 heads happen in a row during that period of time. Okay, but 250,000 is a lot smaller of a number than however high we want to take it because it doesn't matter what number I plug in, chat is still gonna say it's infinite time, so eventually it's going to happen. It doesn't, we, 250,000 is a drop in the bucket compared to like, okay, a hundred quintillion. And we could, and even that is like peanuts compared to how high we could take it, right? So it doesn't matter. My argument is that even though, again, there's there's nothing physically that that is preventing the coin from continuing to flip heads. I'm saying that even with infin infinity, it would just never happen. Forever and ever, ever. It would just never, ever happen. It would continue to not happen. What if both sides of the coin were heads? Well, it would be heads A and heads B, and it would have to be heads A as a streak. Infinity in this context equals until the event occurs. No, you could you could have a machine that is split, that is made out of well, I don't know why we have to specify this. You could have a machine that is made out of indestructible material that is never going to you know degrade or whatever, and you can have a coin that's going to survive being flipped endlessly, and you could just set it up and it would just go forever in this weird kind of fucking whatever state that we're adding here that that's going to let it go forever literally for infinity and it, it would just ne not happen forever forever and ever and ever and ever just won't happen except it wouldn't be forever because objects exist in real life. that's why i specified th with the machine and the state that it's being in that it would go on for oh for fuck's sake i included it in the premise i put thought into it i included it into the fucking premise you can't prove it, what's the point of arguing? First time? What if we turn around? How low would the streak have to be in order to be possible? I have no idea. I don't know where the cutoff would be. I don't even know if a million is high enough. I, I intuitively think a million is high enough, but maybe that's just because it's just a nice number to, to, to hit. But any number you pick going a, a one above is still going to be 50-50, so why would the X plus one be suddenly impossible? Because... <sighs> Okay, chat, is everyone understanding what I'm saying but they disagree, or how many people don't understand what I'm saying? How many people don't understand what I'm saying? Because I feel like a, a bunch of you understand what I'm saying but you disagree. But how many times do I have to say just because there's nothing physically like stopping that could stop the, the coin from continuing the streak, that it's like practical probability what's going to happen and like theoretical probability sure in theory it could land heads infinite forever there's nothing stopping it from landing heads forever forever and ever and ever like it, it could just be go on heads forever just all the time heads 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 quintillion 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 forever forever ever what i'm saying is that it wouldn't happen there's no practical infinity we're just arguing about infinity now then why, why is this hard? I don't understand that. Why is that hard? Why, why do people keep saying that? What's that got to do with anything? You mean it wouldn't happen IRL, but would theoretically? Yeah, I think so. I think in theory, you can look at it and go, okay, oh, yeah, there's in theory, there's nothing stopping it that it could happen. So in theory, yeah, it could happen. But if we somehow stopped it from being theoretical and we somehow did devise some sort of machine that could flip the flip a coin, for an infinite amount of time, it would never happen. Even though in theory, sure, there's nothing that could stop it, but it wouldn't. Is there a difference? To me, there is, yes. Why wouldn't it though? Because at a certain point, the probability becomes so close to zero that it is zero.
That's not how it works. Absolutely is how it works. Absolutely is how it works. Let's end this here and we all stay friends. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Monster Chat. Farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car. Yeah, are you still friends with the original guy you discussed it with? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's Weeaboo Bill, my only friend. Any major misunderstanding is the exact reason preventing it working in practice. In conditions, same as theory. If I understand your your conditions correctly, Barry, I'm just Barry. gonna nod and say yes. Chat agreed with Weeaboo Wee Bill, it's over. Well, it's it's Weeb supporting Weebs. I just don't know. I don't understand why so many people were saying that the um, conditions you're describing aren't possible instead of arguing something else. And that makes me think I'm not understanding part of it. What's the cutoff then? 0.49% chance of something happening is not zero. Oh yeah, clearly. I don't know exactly what it would be. But it'd be a lot lower than that. Joe, is your grade in math? I did really well in math class. Did you argue with the teacher about the school draw? I did not know. Well, not in math. There is no number above zero equal to zero. It's not the same as as uh, zero point nine 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 nine, and yet it would just never happen. Your move. Can you prove it? Not without a theoretical time machine, no. Can you? As I see it, it might happen, but there's a very real possibility that it will not happen. There can be no must. Chad's gonna hate you for that. No, it must happen. It must happen. I would like to point out that earlier Baldur said he agreed with me and then he got really, really quiet when chat w turned on me. So when it's all dunking on the streamer, Baldur's like leading the fucking charge. But when it's like, oh no, tables have turned. You know what? I'm going to just fade into the bush like Homer Simpson and sit this one out. We have a 1% chance this truly is a suicide mission. I mean, 1% is like, it's guaranteed. It has to happen. There is a non-zero chance of the stream happening tomorrow, so it will be. Anyway, see you later. Cheers. All right, let's pause and, and, and read these. Joe is wrong about the infinite coin, by the way. Whoa, whoa, dude, he's fucking hiding that down there in the right. Thank you, Merrick. Thank you. And last on today's fan art list is... <laughs> Courtesy of... Uh... Krakonis? Krakonis? Waiting for Edelgard or Edelgard. What's that? An, it's infinite coin chan. No, no, don't bring it. It's infinite coin chan known for destroying friendships. She actually sucks at math, by the way. If I had infinity time with you, I'd give you head. <laughs> I'd give you head one million times in a row. That's, that's Alan Wake's real American nightmare. Endless head and no tail. Infinite Coin Chan, known for destroying friendships, she actually sucks at math, by the way. Thank you, Infinite Coin Chan. Is it? I don't know if this is a lewd observation, but I do enjoy the infinity symbol being positioned there on the shirt. That's a pretty good detail. I think that's a pretty good shirt. That's such a good shirt, I think that shirt might already exist somewhere, actually. That's good. It's just good framing. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! You just broke a, a, a knife that was about to be. Uh, you just uh, bought a knife that was about to be so, uh, broken. C eight zero six two five six. What is this silly little animation of a lady with endless stamina? It's infinite coin chan. She's back. There's an interactive version of it here. Coin flip. Original design by Krakonis. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right. Hey, heads.
Where's the end result? Boo. Boo. I love this so much. It's so good. Unfortunately, I'm forced to use a, a real coin to give Edge fans a chance. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's it's never going to happen. Edge is never going to happen. Very cute. Thank you, C8. 